Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to share a seed haul video. Um, I wanted to buy a few seeds uh, and wanted to try online seed buying process and companies. Um, and I, you know, I did some research on YouTube and I heard of Baker Creek Heirloom Company quite a bit on many YouTube channels. So I thought I'd give it a try and share this whole process with you guys. Um, I ordered more than I need to. Um, like I said, this is my first time. Next time I may not order that many seeds. And I ordered not just for fall, but also for 2018 spring. So a little bit in too advance. Um, yeah, I got carried away. Online shopping uh, um, can be addictive. So, all right, let's get started. So when I, I did about $54 or $55 total um, purchase and yeah, it was $53.50 um, and I got 18 different seed, seeds for that uh, and I got three of them are free seeds and let me start with this free stuff um, I got a tomato green versanage and uh, this is how it looks and um, it's good for salads and salsa and desserts is what they're saying. Um, this looks interesting. Green tomato, basically. Um, smaller size of green tomato. So that's something interesting. I also got this, which I am excited about. It's the same variety, but in black versus H. Um, there's a lovely black tomato that's loaded with flavor as well as production. It's a two ounce tomato. So I am looking forward to this one. Um, I got a cabbage, Bunswick cabbage. I was not planning to uh, do any gardening with cabbage, but I will do this in the fall, which is like right now. So I need to get these seeds into the soil um, right now so I can have something probably in winter. The descriptions behind the seeds do not have details about when to plant based on your zone. I am zone 8A. Um, it does not have all the details. It does have very very generic planting instructions um, compared to you know like a burpee um, packet you know it's going to have a depth uh, how how much um, should be thin and when to harvest how many days you know uh, it gives a very good detail and you know you can it has given a map so you can find out what time zone or you know when you can plant this or not so I, I really like this burpee packaging because it has really good information especially for new gardeners like me so compared to this packaging like a burpee packaging um, I don't like uh, Baker Creek packaging information um, it, it talks very little bit so over here it doesn't say yeah it says you know should be covered no deeper than a quarter inch um, yeah it's not all the information there is some it does say you know in spring a cold frame is ideal but um, So, all right, so here's the first seed that I bought, which is uh, carrot bursilium bar 2. And it's supposed to be a good size carrot, extra smooth, and a blunt end like that. Um, and I 
it's used for gourmet cooking. So let's see how this one does. I am planning to grow this in cabbage for fall. Then I got some sh sugar peas uh, that are purple in color. Um, I don't know if they're going to be producing a lot or not. Um, they have vigorous wines, can reach up to 8 feet tall. So I will definitely need some fencing behind this to give it support. Uh, flavor is perfect, not too sweet, uh, with a great snap. Actually, I like too much sweet peas, but I like, like the color. It will look really pretty in the salad, so I got that. That's going to go into the fall gardening. This will go for next year, which is tomatoes. This is red tomato. Mm, so it's great for snacking. 25 seeds for $2.50. It's kind of expensive in my opinion. This is another tomato. It's called Napa Rosebush. And developed from blueberries. Um, extra daughter. 65 to 70 days. So that's good. It's going to start producing quite quickly, in my opinion. So that's good. $4. Expensive. It's going to go in spring again. This is Boney's, Boney Best Tomato. Uh, it's good for canning. Um, I got good reviews for this tomato from... Uh, Appalachia homesteading videos on YouTube. If you follow her, she really highly recommends this tomato. And she produced quite a bit. She lives in Tennessee. I am in Texas. Not sure if it will do the same over here or not. But I thought I'd give it a try. So I got that. I also got these um, peppers. These are brown looking pepper. It says my sweet hot fruit um, and this pepper is used in Mexican mole sauce and I love mole sauce it's a Mexican sauce that has chocolate and uh, this this brown peppers will will go perfectly in there so I am excited about this that'll go in spring also and then this is another recommendation from Appalachia Homesteading video about this cucumber. Uh, it's a Mediterranean type of cucumber that has a very thin skin, does not need to be peeled as the skin is very tender. Um, and it's very high, it's a lot of high yield. So I am excited about this. So definitely I'm gonna plant that in spring. Got two kinds of okras. This is a uh, okra Burmese. They are tender and spineless and good flavor. And so 30 seeds for $2.50. That's pretty good because you know it's spineless. I don't like to grab okra and get a spike in my hand at the same time. So I was I'm happy about that. This is again okra Sim Slimanson spineless. Very tasty green pods that are best picked small. Okay, these are more fatter and these are more long and slender. So I think I'm gonna like these Burmese one more. Um, Rio Grande Tomatillo. This is just a regular tomatillo. Nothing fancy. This was $2.75. This is Tomato Blue Beauty. Looks pretty. Weighing up to 8 ounces. 
so half a pound, not huge, but pretty good size. So expensive, four dollars. 80 days. Um, and got these, another carrot, carrot red core. It says great for juicing and fresh eating. Uh, one of the sweetest, and that's the main reason I got it. This is one of the sweetest one. Great for juicing or fresh eating. Um, so yeah. It has a red orange center. So I'm excited about this carrot. And this will be planted right now in fall again in spring. Uh, this is a little lettuce gem, crispy little leaves. Again, 225. Heat tolerant, so I'm excited to grow this in fall and also next spring. So, alright, those are my seeds. And I got three more, uh, two more things. I got sugar and snap peas. Um, I should have only gotten ordered one but I ordered two I didn't know how much it's gonna be half a pound it's a lot of seeds I mean it's just a lot um yeah I got carried away I ordered two this is a five dollars fifty cents I think this is a great value for five dollars and fifty cents you get a lot of seeds I mean and I love sweet peas my kids love them so very excited but i think i over ordered um so let's see if i can find the space to grow all these sweet peas and this variety uh, is very similar similar to sugar snap peas except the pea inside the sh sugar and pea is much bigger is what they are trying to say but it does not produce, it's not a great producer compared to um, sugar snap peas. So I got two packs of sugar am and, um, and one pack of sugar snap peas. So, and this one was 50 cents cheaper than the sugar am. But this produces a lot more, um, a lot more Peas compared to sugar and so I, I ordered two of these. Yeah, so more than I need. But I think they, they should be fine. I can save them for 2019 also, I think. I'll try. Um, yeah, so that was my seed haul for fall 2017. And... Um, I'm very excited and I will share this journey with you guys uh, and vlog more videos um, about my upcoming planting and uh, let me show you guys what I've done so far. I got some really cheap 20 cent seeds from Walmart that I saw and I was able to not resist uh, buying them so I went and sprouted these. And they will go into the ground today. So if you can see, they're all sprouted. So for 20 cents, well, I think I bought three packets. So this is 60 cents worth of seeds. There's a lot of seeds. So for 60 cents, uh, and I don't remember what the brand was. It was <clears throat> one of the cheaper brands, nothing fancy. Um, and they all seem to be sprouted so I will get these planted and show you guys in another video um, and also I am working on getting my herb garden ready so there should be another video coming up soon thank you guys for watching and have a great day and um, hope you subscribe if you have already not subscribed thank you again bye bye